Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. Today we're going to review a few plugins that allow you to turn your posts or pages into PDF documents. Why would you need a PDF copy of your blog? Because essentially PDFs allow you another distribution option for your visitors. They can download posts and save them for later viewing, or they could participate in offline sharing of your pages with their friends and colleagues. Alright, today we'll be looking at a few different PDF creation plugins. We'll take a look at WP Post to PDF, PDF24 Articles to PDF, and Kalen's PDF Creation Station. The first plugin we'll be looking at is WP Post to PDF. One of the first things you'll notice upon installing WP Post to PDF are these little PDF icons on the top of each one of your articles on your homepage. If you click a post, you'll see the icon is also on a single page. I kind of like this minimalist look with an icon and no text. But if you feel you need text next to the icon, there's an option in the settings that allows you to do this. The settings page is split up into three different sections. Accessibility, Presentation, and PDF Formatting Options. Under Accessibility Options, you have the option of setting it so that only registered users can download PDFs from your site. You also have the option of displaying PDF links only on single pages and not on your front page. You can exclude or include specific pages and posts, or you can exclude and include them from the PDF cache. The PDF cache keeps a copy of your PDFs on your server that is available for download. With WP Post to PDF, it auto-generates a new PDF whenever you update your post or page. This decreases server memory usage because you're not creating PDFs on the fly. If you check this option, your page or post will be excluded from PDF cache, but this might prove useful if your post is updated frequently by another plugin. Under presentation options, you can set your icon position. You can do before, after, before and after, and manual. If you choose manual, you have to input this code into your theme wherever you want the icon link to show up. Here's the code for the PDF download link. As I said before, you can customize it and add text after your icon position. Let's see how that looks real quick. Save changes. Head to my blog and refresh. And there you go, the text is right behind the icon. Under PDF formatting options, you have some other options you can use to customize the PDF pages that are generated. You can choose to have short codes processed with the PDF page. You can replace the header of the PDF page with one of your own image. You can also customize fonts and font sizes. The next plugin we're going to look at is PDF24 Article to PDF. This plugin is similar to WP Post to PDF, however it has a couple extra features. The most notable of these features is the ability to email your PDFs to someone through a box at the bottom of your post. You can also replace this email box with a direct download link. You can also use this plugin in the form of a widget and have your email box or your download link in your sidebar. Taking a look at PDF24 settings, we see there's lots of room for customization. Just like WP Post to PDF, you can set it so that only users who are registered can download. You can customize the PDF title and the CSS style. You can customize the email people receive when they use the email box. And you even have different styles of email boxes or download links you can use, or you can customize their defaults. You can have PDF links on all pages and posts, or have them on everything but pages. You can incorporate the email box or the download link into your theme, but you'll have to use code to do so. A couple other things to note is that links on the bottom or top of articles will create PDFs of that corresponding article, while links in widgets, headers, and footers will create PDFs of all the articles on that page. Also, contents in PDFs are linked with your blog, so that could prove to be a useful tool. However, I couldn't find anything about PDF24 using a PDF cache like the last plugin did, and which the next plugin also uses, so you might run into some performance issues there. The last plugin we're going to look at is Kalen's PDF Creation Station, which again has some features that the other two don't offer. The biggest feature being the ability to create PDFs from any combination of pages or posts on your blog. Settings for this plugin can actually be found in two places in your side panel. The first one being under Tools. Here you'll be able to create PDFs from multiple pages and posts. I'm just going to select a few of these randomly to include in our PDF. You can customize the header and footer of each page and post. You can also customize the title page and end page. You can set font size and file names. You can even run short codes to insert information about your blog into the PDFs. And you can have it convert videos to links within your PDF. 
Once you create your PDF, you have this drag and drop menu where you can decide the order of your pages. Create your PDF, and you can right click it and copy the link and put a direct link to the PDF in your pages and posts. You can also download it for yourself. The other settings for PDF Creation Station are available under Settings. You'll basically find the same settings here as you did in the other settings menu, however, these will affect the PDFs that your users download. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll be able to configure where you want links on your blog, as well as the text on those links, and whether or not you want them on your home, category tag, and search pages. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helps you in choosing the right PDF plugin for your blog. Thanks for watching. Visit the totalbounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.